Welcome to episode two of MaxSpec Advanced Learning, Gyre 300 Cloud Edition. Now, let's talk about those dead spots in your tank. They're those sneaky areas where water doesn't move much, leading to debris buildup and leftover food piling up. It's tucked away in corners or near the bottom where stuff tends to settle. Even spots blocked by equipment can be trouble. Identifying and tackling these spots is key to keeping your underwater world happy and healthy. So how can you tackle these dead spots? Here are some handy tips to help you out. The two gyres opposite each other can really work wonders. It creates this awesome cross flow pattern that helps zap those dead spots. With this setup, water circulates all around the tank, leaving no area untouched. It's like giving your aquarium a full body massage. Plus, adjusting the angle and strength of the gyres can fine tune the flow to your liking. It's super flexible and can adjust to different water flow directions, making it perfect for any tank set setup. Unlike the Gyre 300 series, which only had two set flow directions, the Gyre 300 Cloud Edition can do four. That means you can go from the usual back and forth flow to a more spread out pattern, giving your tank a whole new vibe. The four adjustable flow cages can spin all around, giving your water circulation tons of freedom and making things more interesting. Plus, the adductor has got four adjustable outlets so you can easily control where the water goes with just a little left or right swing. Now let's chat about getting those gyres in just the right spot in your tank for some awesome water flow. Here's a scoop. Aim for opposite ends or corners to create a cool cross flow vibe, ensuring every part of your tank gets a piece of the action. Then play around with the angles until the flow feels perfect and keep an eye out for any sneaky obstacles. Also, don't forget to think about the depth of your tank. Deeper tanks might need stronger pumps or more gyres for the best flow. Try placing gyres at different heights on your tank. Depending on which kind of flow helps you best might mean going horizontal or vertical. And remember, keep an eye on things and tweak as needed to keep that water flowing just right. 